Well, everyone, the weekend is here. I would like to do some fishing. I'd like to target walleye. And I really want to do a catch and cook. But all of Northern Ontario right now is under a fire restriction. An area larger than the state of Texas, complete ban on open fires. So catch and cook, shore lunch, isn't gonna happen. Let's try some freshwater ceviche. Ceviche, if you know what it is, is basically taking raw fish and cooking it using citric acid from lime, lemon, etc., citrus fruits. But a lot of people only do it with saltwater fish. There's a higher chance of parasites in freshwater fish, but there's one important step you could do before preparing that will make it safe. Keep watching and find out what that is. Well, I made it to the water. There is a fairly heavy north wind today. So last minute I decided to come to this spot. I'm just hiding right now <laughs> and sheltered. I'm gonna head upstream, fish below a tall dam, hydroelectric dam, that has high elevation all the way around it. Should be sheltered there and hopefully be able to catch some fish in peace. All right. We'll see you at the dam. Well, the dam is absolutely roaring today. But I'm mostly sheltered from the wind. And I seem to be in a little back eddy here. And out of the current. There's a high likelihood of getting snagged in here, so I'm just sticking with some standard jigs. I'm not going to use the Whistler jigs and 3 inch gulp chartreuse minnow. Oh. Sun's trying to come out. It is rather gloomy, but it is supposed to clear up later on. Oh, there's the edge of the clouds. Got a fish. Very light take. Very light. Way out there. Hey, there's our first walleye. That's what I'm after. <sighs> a little on the small side though. Back you go little buddy. I am glad I came here today. The wind is super gusty. I'd be getting my uh, butt kicked out on the lake. The sun is about to go behind the trees. The shade is going to feel nice. There we go. What do we got? <laughs> Why? Oh, ouch. Another small one, but since it's not much bigger than the uh, first one I caught, I'm going to keep it. Small fish or tasty fish. Got a fish? What do we got? Feels like a walleye. Little baby walleye? Yep. Yeah. Huh. And nope, don't got it yet. Oh, just little guys in here. Seems like all of all the walleye are very small. Well, it takes a bunch of little walleyes to make my uh, ceviche, so be it. I 
Oh yeah, that's a fish. Another pike. Yep. Too much weight to be a walleye. Oh, get. What are you doing? Oh, it is a walleye. But now he's caught on my anchor rope. Okay. Into the boat. Into the yak. Another walleye for the pile. Fishing was a bit slow, but I did manage to get a limit of 13 inch walleye, which is just fine for this dish because I need to cut it up into small pieces anyway. But before I get to any more prepping, I got to take the fish home and throw it in the freezer. That is the essential step for fresh water, raw fish consumption for ceviche. Guidelines say that at a normal freezer temperature, which is minus four Fahrenheit or minus 20 Celsius, one week will inactivate or kill all parasites and bacteria in the meat so that is what i'm going to do freeze the fish and next time you see me here in the video i'll be thawing it out all right time to make some ceviche i pulled my meat the walleye out of the freezer it's nine days later i got about a pound of clean meat here i chop it up Get it in the bowl. I'm going to cut it fairly small because I want the uh, citrus juice to cook it as much as possible. By cooking it really just denatures the protein, sterilizes a little bit with the acidity. So probably pieces about yay big and that's about the same size I'm going to chop the vegetables. I have the meat all chopped up. I'm gonna put it in a bowl. Get some citrus from, I have three lemons, three limes. I'm gonna juice them. I'm gonna put that uh, citrus into the bowl until the juice covers all the meat. Again, three and three, three lemon, three lime, don't worry about the numbers. Uh, at the end of this video and in the description, I'll put a complete list of what I used today. I got just about a cup of citrus juice out of those lemons and limes. I'll just dump it now over the fish. Okay. As you can see, it's just enough to cover the fish. Of course, if you don't have enough, you could always grab some generic lime juice or lemon juice if you have that in your fridge to make up the difference but you got to make sure that all the fish is covered so the recommended time if you're using shrimp or saltwater fish is as little as 30 minutes up to about an hour and a half because this is freshwater fish i'm going to give it a good two hours plus while i'm waiting for the walleye to cook in the citrus I'll prep up the fresh vegetables there's literally thousands of different recipes for ceviche substitutions preferences different amounts so think of it more of a guideline than an actual recipe I'm going to use a cucumber which I've seen in the majority of the recipes but it can be substituted with an avocado if you prefer I like cucumber a little better. Two jalapeno. 
You could use any kind of pepper you want really. I've even seen habanero. I do grow habanero plants, but it's early in the year. So they're only a couple inches tall right now. Two onions. Four, five radish. One large tomato. And some cilantro, fresh green cilantro. And you can substitute parsley if you want, any related herb. So that's the uh, fresh ingredients. Let's chop them up. Two onions, finely diced. One cucumber, finely chopped. The tomato, seeded and chopped. Five radishes, finely chopped. There's the jalapeno, chopped up. About one third of a cup chopped up cilantro. Now to wait until the walleye cooks and mix it all together. Okay, a little over two hours, and you can see the fish is now opaque in color and it's more firm. It looks like as as if it's been boiled. So it's cooked from the acid. Now this stuff, I wish you could smell through the camera, through the TV or phone, however you're watching this, because this smells amazing. I would eat this alone. Time for the fish to go in with the veg. I'll give that a mix. I'm not sure if all recipes ask for tomato juice, but the one I found did said to just add it a little bit at a time until desired. Just keep mixing that in there. It's not like this dish needs any more flavor. Maybe a little more. A few months ago, I bought these corn tortillas, tostadas, with uh, jalapeno flavor. I've been wanting to use them on something for a while now. Today's the day, I guess uh, it's perfect that I had them. Moment of truth, here comes the taste test. Wow, that's good. No fire, no problem. It was a really hot day today. So something light and fresh like this just hit the spot. It's amazing. Mm. Not gonna lie, it's the first time I've ever had ceviche. Won't be the last. It's a bit messy. So is any good taco. I'm gonna keep eating. This is my meal for the evening. Hope you enjoyed that. Till next time, cheers, tight lines everyone.